The Hubble Ultra Deep Field is one of the most famous images in astronomy. Between September 2003 and January 2004, the Hubble Space Telescope spent a total of 11.3 days staring at one of the darkest patches of space that we knew of. It took 800 exposures over 400 orbits of the Earth to create the deepest visible light image of the universe ever. And what Hubble revealed was incredible. The dark patch wasn't dark at all, but actually contained thousands and thousands of faint and distant galaxies, with about 10,000 visible in the image. Remember that a galaxy is a collection of billions of stars, so the size of each object here is absolutely enormous. Finally, the telescope that is often called the successor to Hubble, JWST, has imaged the same patch of sky. Well, JWST actually did this on October 11th, 2022. That's right, just one day. It spent just over 20 hours looking at the ultra deep field patch. And this really highlights that thanks to its huge 6.5 meter mirror, JWST can take images comparable to Hubble in a fraction of the time. That fraction here is one tenth. The depth of the image is approximately the same, but JWST did it in one tenth of the time. One difference between the images is the wavelengths they were taken in. Hubble sees in mostly visible light, just like our eyes, but JWST sees in longer wavelength infrared light. It's more of a thermal camera than an optical one. Specifically, JWST used five wavelengths of near-infrared light for this image, all taken with its NERCAM instrument. The shortest wavelength it took is shown in blue, the next shortest in green, then yellow, orange, and the longest is shown in red. Combining all of them gives the beautiful JWST image we see here. Due to how both telescopes are designed, the fields of view don't line up perfectly here, and while the Hubble image looks larger, the JWST one actually has a second half too. We can see here the left half of the JWST shot overlaps with the Hubble image, but the right hand side here actually shows the patch next door. So none of these galaxies appear in the Hubble shot. If you want to know more about the gap between the two halves of the JWST image, I go into the details of why that happens in another video on the channel. So I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video if you want to see more. Actually, even in the left square, the top left corner of the JWST image slightly goes outside the Hubble one, so we get to see a couple of galaxies that only just missed out on being in the famous Hubble image. If we look between the two, there aren't huge differences. Some of the galaxies are a bit brighter or have more detail in the JWST image, but there aren't thousands of new objects popping out of the darkness like we might have expected. This is because JWST was trying to recreate the Hubble image here and showing how fast it can do it. But soon we will see images that are even longer exposures and then we will certainly see much, much deeper into the universe. Likely back to the first galaxies that ever formed. As far as I can see, these are the few objects here that aren't galaxies, but rather they're stars in our own Milky Way galaxy that just happen to be in the way of this patch of space. In the Hubble image, they have the four Hubble spikes, while in the JWST image, they have the eight diffraction spikes of Webb. Again, the details of that can be found in a video in the description if you'd like to know more. Currently, we see similar shapes, sizes, and colors, but I'd still love to hear what you think in the comments below, because I think this spacescape is absolutely stunning. Perhaps my favorite thing is this knot of galaxies here that look like they're all overlapping each other, but there are so many gorgeous shapes and colors in the image. While in the second half of the JWST field of view, there are some especially large blue spirals. We can see incredible detail in each of them, and they're absolutely 10 out of 10. Good stuff, universe, good stuff. I'll leave you with the JWST image to enjoy in peace. If you can see behind the annoying things that pop up on the screen at the end of a YouTube video, that is. I'll also leave some links in the description so you can explore the full resolution image if you fancy that. I'd love it if you considered subscribing to the channel or checked out one of the videos on screen now that the YouTube algorithm thinks you'll enjoy if you made it to the end of this one. Thanks for watching team and stay safe. Bye.